we were going to lead the show by playing the entire back and forth between Dominic Cruz and Cody Garbrandt. <laughs> but then I went, went to your Twitter page and I decided <laughs> that that probably wasn't what you were looking for early Monday morning there in Los Angeles. Hey, so real quick, you, real quick. I actually, please know. I, I actually have audio of it. Uh, I'd like to play it <laughs> right now. Um, this That's is this, good, TJ. This, we're this, good, TJ. No, no, no. This is the censored version. Just to have a listen. That's all I heard on Fox. <laughs> that was it. So, uh, have you since seen the uncensored version? Either of you guys, Ken Flo? I haven't. Seen- no. I haven't. So, you know, it was hard for me in between them to hear what was going on. And I'm really just trying to listen to the truck because ultimately it's going to be Dana White who is getting a message to the truck either for me to stop the thing down or to intervene, right? And and obviously I thought parts of it were, were maybe better than Ken Flo did. I thought Dominic Cruz had some really shining moments when, you know, when he just kept saying snoring, 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 I thought was yeah. pretty funny. And then obviously the whole fate and fairy tale bit, um, you know, buying a house with all the wins over, over Garbrandt's teammates. But, you know, I think the, the error was just that, that Cody wasn't able to stop down and listen to Dom. So maybe we, from a production standpoint, could have coached Garbrandt to let him know that not only can you not cuss on Fox because a lot of it will get beeped out, but if if they could have just not interrupted each other, it maybe would have been a more powerful back and forth. But I still think it'll do something and serve its purpose to to drive the pay per view. And clearly, you saw there. Even though I've said because I know these guys very well that I think they would be friends if they weren't you know budding rivals. But clearly, they they don't like each other at all. And I think that's why promotionally we decided to separate them and have Cody at the octagon and, and have Cruz stay up on set. Yeah, listen, I, I think it's a great fight. I can't wait for that freaking fight. Uh, I, I just felt like, I mean, this is kind of why, this is why Conor McGregor is a star. It's because he knows how to hype the fights. He knows what to say. He knows what triggers uh, his opponents. And these guys, I felt like it was just kind of like a junior high kind of back and forth. No, you are. No, you are kind of conversation. And for me, it almost made it worse. Like, I was like, guys, come on, do say something substantial, you know, say something that means something. And and uh, I was kind of uh, hoping for more from those two. But uh, listen, it doesn't matter. That that fight's phenomenal. They don't need uh, the talk really to hype it. But I was hoping for their sake that they'd be able to do it. But. It yeah, doesn't matter. Rousey's, on, Rousey's the main event. What do they need to do? And we're going to get into Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes later today. And then we will be back for you the day after Christmas, Monday, December 26th. That's how committed we are to our listeners. Day after Christmas, we're doing a show. We'll have Dominic Cruz on that show during his fight week. Actually, he goes to the airport on Monday. So we're going to try to coordinate around his schedule and get him when he's driving to the airport. Uh, you know, Dom can be a pretty serious guy. And certainly during fight week, he will be every bit that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I all the time. But what, what what's the topic? Here? He's right, got the so fight coming up with Cody. He's got a fight with Cody. And over the weekend, uh, Cody's girlfriend, whoever. Okay. She- whoever she is, starts blasting Dominic. She got involved. She got involved. Never a great idea. And Dominic, you know, Dominic said, you know, shut up, woman. Dom took the bait. He took the bait. He said, pipe down. We got men work to deal with. Oh, n- literally? It's not real close. Okay. Real close. <laughs> I find that funny, but so all right. Get, I, go ahead. Oh, well, I don't have a ton on that. I, j- I saw a little, uh, if that was what happened. I knew Dominic had said something. To Cody's girlfriend. Now, where I picked up, I didn't know she started. I thought Dom just went out and chimed in. And then Cody responded, something real simple. You know, Cody wasn't all that pissed off about it, but he did make a comment like like she was a bit of an ass kicker herself. I've met the girlfriend one time, uh, a very pretty gal, but I didn't know if she did MMA. She may, because, you know, Cody used to date Paige Van Zandt, who uh, obviously MMA. Uh, I don't know. I don't know much about her. She seemed like a nice gal, but Cody wasn't all that pissed. Cody's a pretty cool cat. I mean, he gets fired up, but I thought he handled. He he wasn't all that bent out of shape from the tweet I saw. When, when a woman, you'll love this. When a woman gets involved in that, they have nothing to do with it, and they get involved in it. It to me is exactly like Mc Damon's wife when Delon was in the cage. Tell, tell that story. Well, there's not a lot of a story. Delon Williams is in the cage. I mean, this is a local guy here in Portland. We're having a show, and uh, 
his his uh, da- so Damon's wife, who is what Delon's sister, or is Delon's wife? It's Damon's sister. Whatever the relationship is, there, right? You get the whole thing. She tried to enter the cage. Well, the cage. Getting into a ring, we've seen run-ins in wrestling where there's a drunk fan. This was not a drunk woman. This was a family member that was coming to help out Delon, her husband or brother. What I believe it was his, I believe it was a husband-wife situation. But when you're talking about a case, she tried to scale the fence. That's the only reason we have a story here. She tried to scale the fence, and she made it a little further than security should have allowed her to get. When would you ever see a woman trying to climb into the cage? That was so one, crazy. One, I was, one time ever. One time. time ever. I was. I was. I was. I think I was either commentating or uh, judging that night, and we looked at. Me, I looked at you, and you looked at me, and like, like, what's going on? So that's that's how I feel when a woman gets involved in it. It's just like, oh man, stop. Well, Just one, stop. and one of the reasons it's tough too is like, look, as far as promotion goes, thanks, but thanks, but no thanks. All right, I mean, just let us handle because there's no way to win. You know, if 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 my wife got involved, uh, who am I getting ready to fight? Tito. If my wife jumped in and got involved here. the The problem with it is. I gotta I, stop you. I know what it does to Tito. Did you really just forget? Please tell me you did. I'm so focused on Vandalay Silva. I just forgot it was Tito and then Vandalay. <laughs> I didn't actually mean that as the condescending guys. Like, oh, who am I? I'm not even thinking about. It. No, I am thinking about. It. I'm working my ass off for it. But yes, for a moment, I forgot which one, what the he, order he was. He is working his ass off. I'll tell you this though. So if if Miss Brittany weighed in on that, I would be. What's Tito supposed to do? Hey, I'll come over there and kick your ass. No, it doesn't work. There's nothing he can do. And so if we are doing promotion, there's got to be a back and forth, and the the end game's right. It stops right there. You know what I tell her? So you kind of just go, huh? I kicked down your back door. You said, what's the money on it, Haas? Slap your old lady on the ass. Sit down. Tell her to make me a medium rare steak just the way I like it. And there ain't nothing you can do.